Oh, right, what I've got for you today is um, I've got a customer who's, who wants to know a British Standard um, deadlock fitted, Euro deadlock. And um, he's got a Euro sash lock on there already. And uh, he needed, well, what he wanted was both the locks on the same key. So I ordered the British Standard one there. I ordered a six pin Euro there. Um, luckily they're the same profile, they're pretty much the same cylinder. doesn't matter if this one's not one star because it's going into the sash lock. So, anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to strip it down and re-key it. Okay, so the key, this is the, this is the key for this one. Okay, there's a nice tight fit. I'm going to make that key work this lock. Okay. So what I did, first thing I did is I cut down the key. So it's like that. There is a reason for that. So when I... So when I strip it down, I can get my um, little device in there. So I can just get this out. Where is it? There it is. To hold the pins out. So... There it is. Right, so this one I'm going to strip down. So I need to remove the clip that's holding the cylinder in. Okay, I'll have this little cheap set. I don't know whether this will be any good for this one, but we'll give it a try. So put it back to about there. Tried pushing it in. <sighs> oh, boy, that's tough. Here we go. That's it. Boom. Come out there. All right, it's so this out. So with that out, this will go on the bottom. Yeah, I think it's fit. Yep, on the bottom of there, like that. So what we do, put the key in, and turn it around, and then we get it to lock in. Ooh. At the top, so it's locked in like that. And now we can pull the insert out. Okay, remember the position the cam's in for that. Right, what I have bought, I mean, you see my penny mat, what I did buy, this. I thought it was actually 3D printed, it's not, it's like a cast, little penny tray. So, you can take your pins out, one, two, oh, three, it's going to be a bit, come on. Four, five, six. Okay, so they're the pins that are in there. Yeah, it's got a nice little cradle for your key to go in. So you're repinning it, it's quite nice. Um, you can put bits in there. It's all nice. I quite like this. So I can pull this out. And push this key in, which again is quite handy. So now I've got to repin it. What I do have is a, a little universal pinning kit that we will use to repin this bad boy. Um, do I have any tweezers? Probably not. Gonna have to use the hand. So, what I do is I look at the key I'm doing it to. So it's the deepish one, that's going to be a little bit of a long one. So I'm going to look at, uh, try and using the existing pins that are really in there. So I think that's one of the deepest. One of the deepest. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. The next one is going to be a short one, 
really short one so number three there is probably one of the shortest ones so oh nearly lost that one so put that in there oh perfect next one's going to be another short one i'm not sure if i've got another one that's short but we'll have a look what's this one like Ah, too long. Right, I'll put that there. That's too long. But I might be able to use it in the next one along. So let's try it in the next one. Okay, I'm on. Now that is too short. See, it's gone under. It's too short. So it's not going to quite work. On that one. Alright, so now we have to go to the pinning kit. So, let's have a look. That's that pin there. We'll go for one of these silver ones. Not too wrong. So, we'll reduce. We'll go up to one of these gold ones. Fraction too long, so I'm gonna go up one more. Probably be too short this one. Yep, as I thought, too short. So it's gonna be in between. So I'll go for this gold one here. Perfect. There you go. Nice. So one, two, three, one, four. One, one, two, three, four. It's a deepish one. So quite long. So I'm going to go for this one here. Too long. So go up to the green one. A fraction too long. So from there, I might go for this green one here. That's a fraction too short. Now if you can see, a fraction too short on the green one. So I'm gonna go up a size. So I'm gonna go for the gold or brass. Brass one here, push it in. Again, fraction too, fraction too low. Um, which one was it? I think it was that one. Oh, I'll put this in the middle. Can't remember. So, I'll go the red. Red. Fraction too short. First green one. Ah, too short. What oh, an idiot, I'm going the wrong way. I should be going up. Let's try this gold one. That's a fraction too long. So I think the silver one. So this silver one is good. Silver one's good. And then that's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So it's five. One, two, three, four. Five looks the same. So we'll go for that. That one again. It looks the same. Yep, perfect. Then the last one's a fraction longer, so I'm going to cheat you because we're going to drop down one. Let's see what it's like. Still too short. So down to the green. So look. 
bit too long. So, go to the red one here. Perfect. Right, so they all look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is pull the key out. Okay. Get the plug. Carefully try to line up the bottom there. Push it in. Now what's happening now is that the piece on the inside has moved there, the driver. Don't know if you can see. Probably can't see it. Right. So I'm gonna try and remove that. It'd be easy if I had a pair of tweezers. See if I can drop it out. There we go. There's a the driver pulled out and there's a spring in there. You're not gonna be able to see it again. But there is a spring in the bottom there. Do not touch the spring. Keep that in the same position. All right. This driver's got a little piece like that. Put it in so it lines up. Push this back in very carefully. There we go, pushed in, clicked in. Now it's in the right position. Okay, holding it in, take it out. Okay, you may need, I'm lucky I don't, but sometimes you might need a pick just to push the pins down to turn it, turn it around. It's all set. Sorry about keeping going out of focus. Not very good, let's see if I can set. So, yeah. Put the key in, works a treat. He comes out, get the clip. These clips are sprung loaded, so they should just pop, pop in. You shouldn't need. There you go, just clips in. I do have another tool when it's the compression. You've got this tool here that you put on, oh, you open up, you put it on and you compress the rings in, or do it that way, whichever you want to do. And that just compresses the ring in, but with this one you don't need it. So this key now works this lock and works this one. So happy days. I say this is a nice little, nice little pinning tray really. I like the way it holds the cylinder in with the key up, right? He has some super, super tools. So I think there's only like, I don't know, tenner, some of that. Cheapest chips. So yeah, well worth getting. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you all later.